All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at it again. So we're uh, out here on the water about to uh, hit up some docks, some flats on a low tide right now. It's uh, actually a pretty negative low tide at the moment. So that's why I'm actually paddling like a, like a normal person. But um, what we're gonna do is hit up some docks today. We've got some fiddlers, got some uh, creek chubs or mud minnows, also some live shrimp. We're just gonna throw around here, see if we can get some sheepies, some reds, hopefully a snook, hopefully an inch or slam, because I mean, I'm tired of this two thirds nonsense. But um, what I'm gonna do is uh, head out here a little ways, start throwing around these docks. Um, high tide's not until about 1 p.m. Um, we're at the kind of the winter time swing of things where it's low tide every morning. And you know, with those moon phases, like it's a new moon phase right now, you've got negative low and super positive high. Um, it's going to be a minor high tide at 1 p.m. and then you've got your high high tide later on, later at night. So that's going to be kind of the typical uh, swing of things here, um, probably all the way until after winter time. So we're going to try to buzz buzz through this uh, grass flat here without chopping up grass too bad, and then uh, get to our first spot and hopefully check in with you guys with a uh, bent rod. So see y'all soon. Here we go. All right, first spot, we're gonna give a uh, live shrimp a go here. See if we got anything on lurking under this dock. Current's moving real nice right now. I like to think something should be holding. We got a little bit of deeper water back here on the low tide. Here, we're gonna go ahead and give these fiddlers a go. Oh, we got something tiny here. Oh, it's a little pin. Perfect. We're gonna keep him for bait. So. It's actually not a bad sign. I mean, it's not really what we want, but it is kind of what we want, if that makes sense. So, so far it just seems to be really small stuff under the stock, but I mean, you really don't know until you throw a few baits. Here we go. That feels like a better fish right there. Oh yeah, that's a good sheep, real good sheep. Try to ease him up. He wants to go in that dock. It's just crazy after all those small fish that you find this guy in there. I don't know if you guys can see how he's tangled up in his fins there. But that's a real good fish there. Oh. <laughs> he's not ready to give up, but yeah, we're talking real good fish. Oh, handle fell off the net. Whoo, splashy. Get him in there. That is a tanker of a sheep's head right there. I mean, we're talking maybe close to 20, 18 if I underestimate him. But that is a tank of a sheeper. And that is the first fish of the morning, guys. That's, it's a good start for sure. Go and get the grips on him. Look at that mouth. Let me uh, give you guys a quick wipe down here. Good God, look at this sheepy. Oh, here. The hook <laughs> the hooks like clean through his through his lip there. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it. All right. So here we go. First fish of the morning. Tanker of a sheep's head. 
Like that is a good 19, 20 inch sheepy right there. We're gonna give him the measure here in a second, but I mean, for fishing for maybe 10, 15 minutes, I mean, I'll take him. We'll uh, give him the old lost stick. All right, guys, drum roll, please. 20, almost 21 inches on this guy. We'll call him 20. So 20 inch sheep right there. Early morning, just getting started. I mean, can't ask for much more than that. That's why we bought the Fiddler crabs, guys. Beautiful. So we're gonna we're gonna take this guy home. I'm gonna go ahead and get him bled out, and he's gonna be uh, joining us for dinner tonight. Cool. Let's get back to it. But man, how epic! 20 inch sheepy right from the rip. I'm pretty sure that's my PB. Cause I think last year it was 19 inches. It's either 19 or 20 last year. So that's cool if I can keep breaking PBs inch by inch, year by year. Give me something to look forward to each year. But yeah, we're just throwing fiddler crabs. Got a little, I wanna say it's like a number three split shot or number two split shot. And then a 20 pound fluoro and one aught circle hook. A little Mewtwo tournament circle. We go. Feels like a decent one. Yeah, it's another sheep. Decent size. Cool. This guy will be a keeper. This thing's like twisted around the tip or something. I'm not sure what's going on there. He's probably like a good 13, 14. Actually, probably like 14. 14 or 15, maybe. I am all sorts of discombobulated here. So you know you hook them good when they bend the hook like that. All right, so that hook's about broken. We may be able, we may be able to bend it back. All right, so that's our second cheapy of the day he's like definitely keeper size i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep him though if he's 14 plus we'll keep him Let's see what we got here yeah he's like right at 14 so we'll uh, we'll throw him in the bag so i'll get some decent plays out of him and then i'll add him to the other other sheepy so cool beans we'll uh keep it going here all right dude all right shit We're up again. I think this one's okay, so that's not a sheep, that's a red. A little red. He took a took a fiddler crab. Good little fun size. Fun size red here. I'm gonna tire himself out a little bit. size red there either. So he's interesting spot on this guy. He's got a dot up here too on that side and then one on the other side. So cool. A little red here. We're gonna let this guy go on his way. And first red fish of the day. Okay, we're back, back on again. This one's a sheep. Not as big as the other two, but it'll still be a keeper size sheepy. It's probably like a good 12, maybe 13 inches. Sheepy number three for the day. 
Oh man, I've got a mess. I've got a freaking mess going on here. All right, folks, we'll be right back. Okay, now that that's sorted out, let's take a look at this guy. Yeah, he's probably like a 12 inch sheep. So he could come home, but I'm gonna let this guy go. I really just want him kind of 14 plus today. Man, you get these guys in the corner of the mouth? That hook is toast. Yeah, and actually I bent that hook back. It's actually, it's not too bad. But this guy would keep, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's 12 incher. But we're gonna let this guy get a little bit bigger. So we'll send him. See you later, little sheepy. We're gonna go ahead and boogie out of here. Just nothing doing, just a lot of small fish that we're feeding. So I'm gonna keep it moving here. Put up another dock. And I think what we're gonna do is maybe try to use these uh, little creek chubs. Let's see if we can get a snook. Just because they're a little more finicky. So if I'm catching sheep's head and redfish kind of right off the bat, a lot of those snook are gonna move out from under the dock. So we're gonna try to use a chub to try to target our snook. Let's see if we can get an inshore slam. There we go. I think this one's gonna be a red. Yeah, a little red. He took the zebra minnow. And we lost our zebra minnow. Let's see if we can get him back. Cool. Got to keep the zebra minnow. He's red off here. Ooh, he peed. Okay. Glad I had my little dry box closed there. So a little red, one spotter on one side. He's like classic red, one spot on each side on him. Little guy. Got a little pretty blue on his tail. Kind of hard to tell. It's super overcast out here. We're gonna send him. Bye, buddy. Thanks for playing. And we're gonna re-rig through another one. Oh, oh man. That was our snook right there. Yeah, see, that was our snook, and he took that little tiny piece of bait, but then came unglued. right when he went around those pilings. He didn't break us off though, thankfully. But man, he hit like a ton of bricks. Probably spooked everything that was down there too. Oh, it came off. Whew. Slot too. He took the uh, creek chug. Like a 20 inch red. It's not a bad fish. Not our snook. The best red of the day so far. letting this guy go he's a real good eater size but I don't really need need to keep any reds today great looking fish probably about 20 inches give or take we'll measure them just uh just to see yeah he's 19 probably about 19 and a half if you pinch his tail Beautiful fish on these docks here. We're just tailing that light. So we're gonna send him. <laughs> there he goes. So fun fight on the light tackle. Hooks out. So he's got two spots on this side. Oh, 
didn't think I was recording this guy. So two spots on this side, two spots on that side, kind of off center there. But another red. So these guys are just chewing it up today. Beautiful blue tail on him. We'll send him. Yeah. The dock's gotten kind of slow, so we're probably just gonna switch sides here. And maybe see if we can get something on the other side. We did pull up that little red and then also uh, hook the snook. Well, we got a few little reds, but we got the one slot and then a couple of other little small ones there. But um, I do want to try to get a snook, so we're gonna probably pop on the other side, see if we can get a snook to eat one of these chubs here. Oh, it broke us off. It's a good fish. Jeez. Smacked it too. There we go, we got a sheep. It's actually not a bad size. There we go. So we got a sheep. He's not that bad of a size sheep. I think I was recording and then stopped recording it. All right, so I see it's our, our third or fourth sheep for today. And he seems decently sized, so we'll probably take him home. So I took that shrimp underneath that dock. I don't know what my GoPro is doing. I'm not sure if I recorded that or not, but just pulled up another sheep out of this little low hanging dock here with the uh, blue paint job on it. And, uh, pulled this guy out so I might have recorded half the video then stopped it and then recorded again I don't know what I did there but he yanked this guy up from there and we'll give him a measure and we're likely gonna throw him in the bag too yeah so he's almost 15 yeah almost 15 so I've got my hand underneath it so usually it adds about a half inch or so so we're gonna get this guy bled out we'll throw him in the bag with the other two all right guys so we're heading in pretty exciting morning had that a uh, big pb sheep's head uh 20 inch or so just kind of right off the bat i mean it was pretty much the first real fish we caught this morning and you know it was a, definitely a good way to start it um had a few red fish too a few other keeper sheeps um, a lot of activity man this dock hopping's a lot of fun so you know if you guys have kayaks definitely hit it up or even if you you know just have a local dock you fish just cast it right underneath the dock you know you might have find a little dock monster chilling there but um, had some break offs today too. That was pretty fun. Um, you know, always a big mystery on what's on the other end of it. You know, you just never know, but that's what keeps things exciting. Um, I'm gonna kind of call it a day here. I might try one more spot, but I'm not super hopeful or I'm not super, I'm not anticipating I'm gonna catch anything probably. So, but um, I appreciate you guys watching, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.